Yo! What is up, guys? There we go. Beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Uh, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing very, very well. I know that I'm doing very well. So. People doing very well is a very good thing. Anyway, let's see what our daily reward is. On this amazing, beautiful Monday morning. Ah, it's not morning anymore. It's a groovy beach costume. But game. G game, we already had one. Oh my god, it's a Lycus. Oh no. Whatever will we do? Uh, we're we're going to start with deleting this, this limited groovy beach. Um, and then we will go and sell some stuff that we got yesterday, uh, last Friday. Yesterday. Listen to me. I mean, I don't even know when, I, when I'm streaming anymore. Jeez. Um, yeah, we, we, we will keep that. That's okay. Okay, let's go and see. Hey, we sold our flowers. Look at that. Slowly but surely, we're starting to get our money back. We we, we, will, we will get the, the money for, for a bow. That should be okay. I hope. <laughs> uh, okay. Now, let's go to FC. How are you doing, mate? Or like us, or any of the names mentioned in your name. Hope you're doing okay. Good, good. I'm okay. Woke up at 8, started to uh, make the first beginnings of the thumbnail for um, for the TS guides. Actually, now that I'm talking about it anyways, I guess I might as well show you guys, huh? I mean, do keep in mind, it's still a work in progress. I still need to work on it, but yeah. I was thinking about using this for the, for the thumbnail. I mean, I still need to need to fine tune it a bit because I'm not entirely happy with it yet. Like, I really like the circle here with the TS in it, especially because it says click. So it's like it's literally clickbait. <laughs> so I like that, but I'm not sure about the colors. I'm not sure about uh, if the letters are okay. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's kind of the thing because the number would be here, but like I said, I'm, I'm just not sure if, if I'm happy with the way that it looks like the background could be better. You know, that kind of stuff. So I'm not really, yeah. And maybe that the circle needs to go down a bit. Like letters a bit more big. But 
I mean, at least I, I have a I have a starting spot now. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, most likely. I am very lucky because my girlfriend has a really good eye for uh, for when these kind of things look right and when they don't look right. Like, don't tell her, but whenever she helped me with thumbnails in the past, the thumbnails actually attracted more people than whenever I made a thumbnail. But don't tell her, okay? Is that something we can we can agree on? That's our little secret that I now share with the entire the, uh, the entire internet, and she is part of the entire internet. So yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> anyway, um. Let's see, what did we have to do again? Because we were questing in Act 4, and where were we with the questing in Act 4? I'm pretty sure we just killed the scouts. So, we need to kill Prota, Ice Worm, Lace, Ice Witch, and Ice Lion. Well, a destroyer it is. From Poland? Ooh. That's a place that I don't don't get greetings from all that much. Ah, it's okay, Lycus. That's okay. I was about to say, welcome to the stream. Greetings from the Netherlands. Uh, and greetings from Frozen Crown, where we are most likely just going to absolutely get demolished. As per usual. Although there is a chance that there's nobody here. And if that's the case, then we're good. Okay, I, now I want to know the offer. Tell me what offer what offer you got that made you very excited to go to the other server. Hit me with it. Come on, like us. Share with the class. Because now I'm curious. Now I want to know. Like what offer was so good. That you decided to switch to one side rather than the other. Because I know you were you were struggling with finding finding which server you would like to play on. So if something or somebody gave you an offer. That made you go in one direction over the other. It must be really good. It can't just be a cannon for out of your out of your daily box. Uh, prota, prota. A panda full rocketeer set. That reaper plus zero. Pirate plus fifteen. Okay. A canaton. But you said you already had an Akanaton from your uh, from your daily login. So how does that how does that Akanaton influences the entire thing? Like the Rocketeer set and the Panda Sure. That's pretty big. Right. Triple S versus your bound one. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. 
Yeah, I know, I know. But um, these ice flowers are uh, event quests for the for the winter event. So we can't collect those. And right now I have to hunt Protas for my main quest. The only reason I'm here right now is because I have a main quest here. Otherwise I wouldn't be here. <laughs> I just want to get through this main quest as quickly as possible so that I can get the F out of here. Because man, this place sucks if there's a if there's an angel invasion. Yeah, I mean, like I said, just go and just go and play the game the way that you think is the best for you. I mean, who are we to say? How you should play the game, I mean... Games are meant to be having fun on. And if you are having fun with friends of yours, then that's perfectly fine. No, I don't think that the panda is all that overpowered. Like, sure, it's a good pet, so he most likely will do quite a bit of damage. I just don't think that the that the folk is gonna do that much. Although, wait, it has a heal, right? Is that heal? Is that heal on taking damage? I believe it's the same story as. But it's the same story as it is with the... Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Opa, right? It, heal, it heals on, on getting hit. Yeah. In that case, it's really, it's really broken. Because early game, the monsters are not going to do enough damage to it to uh, kill it quick enough. So, yeah. Ugh. Uh, it being, it being, thank you. Uh, it being super cute is like the least of my concerns. <laughs> Pets being cute is like... Okay. I guess. I, guess. I don't know. It doesn't really matter if a pet is cute or not. As long as it does what it, what it has to do. What? Why? Why is there a random Enkidu that thought that attacking me was a smart choice? What's this? Anyway. We need more Prota. We need three more Prota. Can I get three more Prota? Game. Going once. Going twice. Please? Ah, Prota. Prota! Well, okay. Bye, Prota. And the last one. I did. Yeah, no, I did. Last stream, I, I kind of bulldozed through stuff. The only annoying part was that uh, when I was in Act 4... There was this person that thought it was a very good plan to absolutely BS me. By just constantly jumping uh, on my face and it was a very high level plus 15 uh, person with martial artist yada yada. So uh, when I'm when I'm uh, 85, 
uh, I intend on uh, doing a few things. When I'm 85, I want to get the um, the great leader set. So that I have the defense and uh, that I can actually survive. Survive things inside of Act, uh, Act 6. Because otherwise that's going to become a little bit of a problem. Um, I also will be able to deal more damage when I get that set. So that's also really nice. And after I got that set. I intend to go to, um, to Act 6. And I intend on trying to get the champion experience. So yeah, that's uh, that's the plan for now. I mean, there already is quite a bit of late game content out there. But... I like to have this character and make it strong. Like, I also need to go and get a Swordy, a swordy at, at some point. So, yeah. I'm not really sure if I'm able to, um, to clear things one by one without having buffs. So, I might use my, um, my mates to give me holy buffs. That might be something that I'm doing. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, I got one when it when it, uh, when the event came out the first time. A couple weeks ago. That rate is rather easy if you know what you're doing. Like um, I made a scream tail, and the scream tail was completely defensive. Um, and my girlfriend basically went uh, full offense with belly drum Azumarill. Oh, there's a Cinder uh, Cinder event coming. That's kind of cool. I didn't know. Thank you for the info. That's very useful information to know. Sure. I mean, there are quite a few people that know quite a bit about Pokemon, so I wouldn't be surprised if people already knew some of the upcoming raids before they're actually announced. Uh oh. Wait, why did I use my ult? Oh well. December 30 to January 1st. Well, that's an awkward timing. We know that it's New Year. However, here, have an event that nobody is asking for. God. Bad timing. I mean, sure, but... I mean, I'm, I'm gonna guess that it's not gonna be hard. Cinderace is very, very squishy and doesn't have a good HP stat. Charizard, Charizard is more tanky. So depending on the typing that this uh, Cinderace gets, it's doable. Anyway. We're doing pretty well over here, huh? I mean, I was expecting to be doing a lot worse, but... This is not too bad. It also looks like... I mean, a fairy Cinderace, I am not going to be scared of.
Fairy Cinderace is, is extremely easy to, to knock down. You just you just bring a poison type and then you just pretty much one shot it. You just need a strong poison type. I mean, sure, granted, I wouldn't advise you to use uh, to use something that is absolutely gonna get destroyed, like uh, I don't know, a steel type. Bringing a steel type to that rate is gonna be madness. A herba herba. These these ice worms surprisingly die pretty fast. Hmm. But yeah, it's it's okay. Cinderace would be a cool addition to the to the roster though. Uh, what was after this again? Lace, right? Lace is gonna be a little bit more annoying to deal with. Laces are kinda annoying. Uh, my opinion on the terraforms... Um... Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like it. You can do some really fun uh, funky stuff with it. But... Yeah, besides that, I haven't really looked into the entire thing yet. I am I'm more busy with getting the stream to work. That's more important for, in my case. To get the stream to work and to make sure that I have a thumbnail, yada yada. Besides that, I am. Uh... Oh yeah, no. Some of the some of the uh, uh, some of the crowns basically do look really fun funky. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Look, lace. Lace is, yeah. And we need three of them. Are there even three on one map? I think I need to wait for them to respawn, right? I'm also pretty sure that these things don't take any. Oh wow, that actually went down extremely fast. But I'm pretty sure there's only one on each map as well, so... Yeah, that's a thing. Uh, Dynamax is not gonna come back, and I can already tell you that they're never gonna bring back Mega Evolutions. I know that, I know that, um, well, uh, yes, they're fan favorites of the, uh, uh, from the fan base. Megas, I mean. Megas are fan favorite. Period. Just straight up. Um, however, I know that the, uh, the game company itself is not a big fan of it because it created some really inconsistent uh, uh, inconsistent gameplay and that's something that uh, that they absolutely didn't like i mean it's kind of funny if you look at the at the pokédex entries of mega evolutions 
you can actually see that um, uh, Game Freak was like, Oh, this is a really cool concept. Look at this. This is amazing. And then they kind of reconsidered because, oh my god, what, what did we make? <laughs> um, for example, if you look at the Pokédex entry of, uh, I believe it was Garchomp. Uh, Garchomp's last uh, Mega Evolution Dex entry basically says something along the line of it's hurting so badly that it sometimes can um, uh, can shift into a blind rage. Um... Or Glalie's. Glalie's Mega Evolution Dex Entry literally states that um, that whenever it Mega Evolves, it uh, the the power of the power that is uh, injected into its body is so strong that it um, that it tears his jaw uh, his jaw muscles. But that he will endure the pain because he loves his trainer so much. That's that's literally what the dex entry for Mega uh, Mega Glalie is. You can you can tell me whatever you want. Mega Evolution is not gonna come back. Like it went from if you if you you and your Pokemon have a really really tight bond, then you can Mega Evolve. And it went into the downside of this entire process, however, equals just absolute destruction on your Pokemon's body. Like, yeah, no. <laughs> I don't think that's going to come back anytime soon. I'm sure that they want it to come back. Like, the players want it to, to be back. I know that. The, I have heard that way too many times. Uh, but Pokemon Company is not going to do it, most likely. Like, there's an incredibly big chance that it's just... It's, it's going to be a lost evolution uh, gimmick thing. And that's about it. Like, the fact that they made the Pokédex entries that gruesome... Yeah, it kind of shows that they're like, you know... Mega Evolution was a fun concept, but no. <laughs> no. No, th thanks, we hate it. Okay, now let's see, we need an Ice Witch. Where are our Ice Witches? I'm pretty sure that they just... Hover around on, on whatever they find. Please don't kill me. I am just here to clear my main quest. And you are just here to go and do your thing. So just go inside of that dang raid and then leave me be. I am extremely lucky because my costume triggered there. I shouldn't have lived that shot. The shot from that from that ranger should have killed me instantly. But it reduced it back to to 5% damage. So Whew. Lucky me. But where are those Where are those ice witches? I need ice witch. Where is ice witch? There's one. Uh. 
I mean, I don't mind the uh, terrestrialize gimmick. I think that it's actually one of the one of the coolest things that they did. I know that that guy is, is out to kill me, but I just need one more ice switch and then I can kill wolves. And wolves I can kill one by one and that's fine. The ice switches, however, those are a problem. Oh my god, there's a scout. But there's an ice switch over there. Please let me kill this ice witch. Or not. And this is why we hate FC. Hi, I switch. I will. I will be back. Give. Give me a sec. <laughs> oh man. Oh, huh, good. I mean, it's a really stupid thing of me to think that I can go and do this while there is an angel raid, but... <laughs> Under the idea... Of what's the worst that could happen. The worst that could happen is an angel that wants to murder my ass. I mean, I do have one way of getting there. Maybe. I mean, I could try to do it this way. Uh, I switch. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Yeah, now you can kill me. Go ahead. Really? Fine. It's okay. We're losing a reputation as if it's absolutely nothing, though. So that's kind of bad, but... At least we can get our main quest done. So, there's that. I need to make room for these items, though. Hmm. Okay, so let's see. Because... Now we need to get our ass into gear. Because we need to go and kill the wolves. And we're kind of lucky because those wolves, they do spawn on a relatively safe, safe area. Like it's not entirely safe. But relatively... Like, we can go and kill the wolves that are over here. Yeah. We can go and kill this wolf. And then while we're at it, we also can go and burn everything within sight, because why not? I mean... Might as well. I mean, to be fair, it might take a while before people realize that we are doing our main quest again. Or not. Really? Is this how we're gonna do this? Uh, I mean, after we killed this thing, we are relatively good on what we need to kill like 
the little suspicious no is fine the suspicious no is fine the very suspicious no is fine because they are all inside of our area they're all within like safe grounds so I just need to kill nine more wolves Why is it always that around the time that we are in FC for our main quest that people are here for uh, for for an angel raid? What is this? Why why is this a thing? Actually, I think that I'm I might need to wait. Yeah, maybe I need to wait for um for the raid to be halfway in. Are they sitting there at the top? No. Okay. In that case, maybe that this guy will leave me alone. No. Right. Well, that's sad. Well, that sucks. No main, no main quest for us, I suppose. At least not for a while. To be fair, we can still go and get get money. That's something we still can do. I mean, we can go and gather flowers, for example. That might not be the worst thing ever. Let's see. Everything that is glittering... ...is not a flower from... Uh, everything that's not glittering is not a flower from the quest. <laughs> Fine. I get the feeling that... Uh, that that person that was just yelling at us, that that's somebody uh, that was in the stream earlier. That might be the one that gave us greetings. Come on. That flower is mine. That would make sense. Seeing how they're acting nice whenever I'm, I'm nearby. Most people that are farming flowers are absolutely brutal. But, I mean, flower hunting is, uh, yeah, it's a thing. Honestly, I really don't want to flower hunt. I kind of just want to go and get that wolf, that wolf quest done. Like, come on, please, let there, let there not be a per- oh. Okay, I mean, if you're gonna spawn straight in top of my, uh, in front of my face, I will grab it, sure. I mean, there is a wolf. I'm just not sure if... If there's more people up there. <laughs> I would appreciate it if there's not. Oh my god, there is. Are you joking? It's almost dead as well. Come on. <laughs> uh, why did I decide to do this while <laughs> there is an angel? <laughs> oh, we got a ballista. Ballistas are really good. Ballistas are used quite a bit by Archer, uh, by, um, by, by Swarties. 
for quite a long time as well. It's one of the only uh, crossbows that have uh, that has the sot crit on it. So if you stack that with the other stuff, then you can get some really really good stuff uh, going, like damage wise. But yeah. That one is glittering, that one is glittering. It's kind of funny. If you if you just look at the glitter, then you don't have to go anywhere because the glitter is giving it away. A non-glittering flower is one that is not for the for the quest. Oh good god. Uh you know what? Whatever. I'll just stay here. I'll just go kill the foxes or something. Until the timer of the of the raid is halfway there or something. Not exactly quite sure what, what I'm gonna do with it, but... At least this way I'm gonna get gold and uh, the potions. Because we could definitely use more of the um, more of these three potions. That's something we definitely can have 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 never have enough of. I mean, to be fair, I really would still like it to go and grab myself one of those wolves. I'm just almost certain that I can't. Like I can go and have a sneak peek, but I think. I think that by the time that I even get close to that to that point, that they're just gonna snipe me. Oh wait, that's an actual flower. Uh, wait, how am I gonna do this? Because there's Prota. Can I do this? Yeah, I did. Nice. I mean, questing, questing NFC is just a, it's a clown fiesta. I, ca I can't give it any other word. Ooh, wait, wait, we got the wolf. We got the wolf. Okay, uh, ah. We got the wolf, run. Wait, they're not chasing. Hold on. Are they still there? No, they're not. Wait, what? What? Oh my goodness. They're not here anymore. We have free wolf hunting season. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. FC, FC is a blast if you can get people to not kill you in one shot. But if you can... Like, are they waiting there? Oh, wait. I think that guy might need some help. Did he just... Yeah, I think he did. That's kind of sad. He prevented, he prevented the demo, uh, the debuff, which is funny because this is a level five debuff. So that means that he has debuff production on his on his chest, on his armor. Okay. I, w I, I wanted to go and be helpful and nice to people. But I guess that we're not in the position to be helpful and nice. Fine. Being helpful and nice is not in the options that we have. For it. No, please. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, thanks. I hate it. I didn't realize that the guy 
that these guys uh, managed to get behind enemy line. <laughs> They're in our base, killing everything. That might be the one thing that I don't like about FC. There's not a single area where you can safely do the quest. You will always run the risk of, so of running into somebody that wants to murder you. And the thing is, I'm, I'm not even upset with it. Like, I get it. It's a PvP area, but why, why put the main quest through here? You know, like, you could have literally done anything with this main quest and you could have made an area entirely created for this. And they decided to go and do it this way. No, I don't want to die. Get out. I, I just need to go and do my main quest. Leave me alone. Whoa! There we go. Found another one. Ha, boop. Herba, herba. Okay, that's six. Uh, that means that we only have a few more to go. So where do we find those without getting obliterated by that voodoo priest? Although I guess that that voodoo priest is not really in a position to, to worry about me. <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, guys, a little bit preoccupied by whatever is happening over there. Okay, so there's another wolf. And then we killed this one. And when we're finally done with this... That's when we are going to be very happy. Also, there's a reason why I'm not using attack pots or uh, any of the other potions. Uh, if I use any of these and I find one angel, I die. Lose the potion. Waste of potions. Those, enhance those enhancements potions are going to be way more useful if I manage to actually get anything out of them for 10 minutes. And right now in FC, no. <laughs> no. As much as I would like to get something out of them here, I, I, I can't. It's that simple. I will get murdered regardless of, of what potion I use, so. Unless it's a potion that makes me absolutely invulnerable for damage at all, then it might work. But besides that... I don't even think that there is an, an total invulnerable potion. However, that is our main quest done. Oh my god, no. You have got to be joking. I have to go to the middle of this map while there is an angel raid. Game, are you high? What? Ah, uh, fine. I already know how I'm going to do this. I, I just also know that I'm not happy with it. Please. Uh, that kinda works. Please, no. 
I'm harmless. I'm a harmless little little chicken. You don't want me. I swear, you don't you don't want me. Oh my god, really? Am I going I'm going to be outrun by that by that guy. I don't want to. No. No, 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 no. Thanks, I hate it. First we're going to deal with this prota. Cool, we got the flower. And now we run. Thank you. I knew that guessing that thing was not a bad plan. <laughs> uh, but now we have a problem because if there's still if if that ranger is still here, then then we're still not safe. I mean, I guess I can wear water resistance and then pray. Sure. Let's use spotted assistance and pray, why not? I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? Pretty sure we only need to go back. I mean... It's surprisingly filled with monsters here. Maybe that the guy actually went to the, to the raid? Is that what happened there? Let's hope so. Okay, it looks like he did. Good. Um, oh, we got blaze gloves. Oh, I want to keep the blaze gloves. Blaze gloves are really nice. Silk is not that great, but blaze gloves are really nice to have. It's fire and water resistance, so. Yeah, that could be pretty nice to have. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that it's inside of here. But what, when we, what can we throw away that we don't need? I guess we don't need the magical wool. Uh, we can find this later on as well. We're not going to make use of this. This. Or this, I guess. That gives me five spots. Okay, one more spot. If I use two of these, now I'm maxed out, right? Yeah. Fine. We can sell these. And then maybe if I... Let's see, we can sell these and I, I guess we sell this as well. Does this work? Okay, we can produce. Uh, that should work. There we go. And now we go and talk with Rudy. Oh, Rudin! I got a report for you. Cool. Oh, now we need to talk with Aurelius. A wise man, Aurelius. Aurelius Rosu. A rush And then we go kill a no. But at least this is all on home territory. Right? I mean, where was the little suspicious no again? Right, little suspicious no is all the way at the start. It's right up there. Wow, wait, hold on. <laughs> this is actually kind of good. This is kind of good. Flower. And this is, this is ours as well. Shushu. 
our flower. Get out. Having two of them spawn at the exact same point is pretty nice. And we like that. We like that very much. Um, now, where's the other one? Is this the suspicious one? Yeah. Cool. In that case, we can just bomb the ever-living shit out of them. Cool. Now, let's kill this young one. That's an event one because it's glistening. Or not glistening, glittering. Uh, that, that should mean that the big one over here is the extremely suspicious one. But this is the very, okay, very suspicious. Oh, oops. At that moment when you accidentally anger the penguin. This should give us a report. So we report back to uh, Aurelius. And then we have to go kill the one all the way on the uh, top end of that, uh, of that ledge. And after we did that, I do believe we have to go and do the TS. And honestly, the TS is not that bad. The TS is uh, quite simple. At least I think it's quite simple. Like the main problem with it is that you need to kill uh, the boss at the end. But the way that our destroyer has been functioning so far for us, I don't think that it's going to be a big problem. Which is great, because that's exactly what we do not want. Problems. Cool, level up. Oh, we're in combat, so we can't use it, okay. Uh, you can't do that while you're in combat. Yeah, I know. I'm very much aware that that's not a thing I can do while, while, while I'm in combat. That's somewhat of a normal thing by now. I'm not in combat though. These things are out in combat with me. I'm not in combat with them. Okay, so let's see. Let's use these. That sounds like a pretty smart plan for me to do now. Um, I guess I could use... A fatty booster, but I'm not sure if that's gonna do a whole lot for me. So I'm gonna hold off from using them. But this could be a situation where you would use one. I just don't think that I need one right now. Most of the things inside of here are pretty, pretty simple to kill. I think that the thing that I'm gonna struggle most with... Um, what is it gonna be? I don't know, actually. Uh-oh. <laughs> A bit of an overkill, but, you know. Sure. But, yeah. Like, these things are not really hard. You have to fight a, a, a couple of these. And then... Uh, I think that the ice drakes are going to be annoying. But besides that... I don't know. Besides that, it's not really hard. Uh, oh, there's one thing though. If you do want to get gold from this, that's worth it. You do have to kill everything. So... Right now, I'm, I am going to kill everything. That should give me roughly about... Like... Where? 25? 25k? Uh, you can do it all at once. These monsters are not high level at all. But their HP and everything else is as high as the monsters that you should be fighting at 81. So their level is the only difference. But that means that you're going to deal quite a good amount of damage on them. Because they don't have the moral advantage. You have a 31 Moril um, bonus on them, basically. So that's pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. 
Bop. It does mean that they barely hit any damage on you, so. Yeah, and the Prota rooms are... I mean, they're Prota. Uh, Prota are annoying, but that's about it. They die extremely fast. I mean... Boom, 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 boom. Everything dead. Two bombs. Two bombs and the Prota died. These ice worms, however... Yeah, we're not throwing owls at the opponent anymore. You're right. It's sad, but hey. What can you do about it, right? Also... A good afternoon, Azrael. How are you doing, my friend? I shouldn't have used my ult there. Oh well. Yeah, I guess it works. Is this in range? No. Bad. I thought it would be in range, but... Oh. Oh well. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> uh, did you mess your sleep up again? What's new, I suppose? Du -du 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 -du. Oh, 6 to 11, that's kind of bad, sort of. Could be worse, though. It's kind of funny. Uh, these prota rooms always are ones that you can do as an optional one. They just die so quick, so why not just kill a whole heap of monsters? I mean, to be fair, I could have done this in Wildkeeper as well. Although the end, the end boss of this uh, of this TS might be a bit of a pain in, in Wildkeeper, but the rest is absolutely doable in Wildkeeper. I just like Destroyer better when you're in in FC. It's it's in in general just better because. The damage reduction on your buff is really big in here. That sometimes really does save your ass. Wildkeeper is more of a... How do you say this? Wildkeeper is more of a aggressive card, I guess. Destroyer is also aggressive, but... Yeah, uh, that's a lot of ice drakes. Thanks, I hate it. I really don't want to deal with this, so how about we don't? Uh, no, not an option. Okay, fine. Fine. Uh, keeping my distance. I mean, getting paid for this is kind of okay. Yeah, they're ice worms, so. Well, I mean, technically they're ice worms, but they used to be ice drakes. 
I guess. Nostil has had its name changes over time, so... Some of these monsters are, are still being called by their old names, even though the new names make way more sense. Like Darkhorn, for example, that, that's one of them. It's a very big fiery demon, but it was called Darkhorn. And the abbreviation that people used was DH. However, now there is an SP card, which is called Demon Hunter. Which its abbreviation is DH. So the Nostil team decided to go and change the name of the uh, Darkhorn. So now it's the Fire Demon. Uh, but people still call it DH. So new people that just start playing the game that hear DH are absolutely confused by what people are talking about. Wait, there is a there there's a demon hunter spawning that is gonna kill us? E totally, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what we what we what we are talking about. Uh-huh. Always funny. Do, do, do. And the final room. Ah, oh, the final room sucks. Let's first kill these ice worms. Icy worm. Yeah, or we could go and kill the, the boss already. You know what, let's go and kill the boss. That tiny bit of gold we're losing on these, on these drakes is... Not that important. I mean, if we just keep it stunned. Jeez. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is so savage. Oh man. Okay, well, um. Yeah. Oh! I forgot! This is a hero TS! Normally this shows you a, a, a clip. Now it just freezes the, the game. Until the clip is over because... No still. <laughs> uh, so now it looks like everything is crashing. But here, there you go. There you go. I can assure you that it's not. Okay. Let's go back to the citadel. Pretty sure that's where we need to be now. Okay. Oh, big book. A uh, big book needs to be brought to Aurelius. Hi, Aurelius. How are you doing? And then you have to go and bring uh, let your egg to Rudin. Oh, Rudin. I already worked out that your partner would have to be very similar to them. Blue magicians have been studying magic artifacts for a long time. Yada, yada, yada. According to uh, Macradius' Mac magic book here, it's not impossible to break the seal on Latios' egg. Not impossible, but exactly children's... But not exactly children's play either. Duh! Could have told you that as well. As soon as we learn anything useful about Latios' egg, we will send word to Noscamp. We remain forever in your depth. Thank you. Well, okay. Great. All right. We can now get the main quest at 80 
Fight. This is something that I really, really, really do not like. You can get the main quest at level 85 from the priestess, uh, from priestess uh, Therazet in Volcano Gate. 85. But there's no main quest until 85. So pretty much the only thing I can do now is get to 85 to continue my main quest. Uh, but how does one get to 85 without a main quest? Uh, thanks, I hate it. Um, I mean, I guess I could go and do all the all the missions. That might give us enough experience. You know what? Let's see. Um, we're level 81 with 0.11%. Champion level 0, 0%. 0 Our job level is maxed somehow. Okay. Uh... Desert. What are we going to use in the desert? I think we're just going to use Wild Keeper there. Sure. Why not? There we go. Uh, 80% SP normal. Go as percentage. Okay, so here, here, here's the thing, and I'm just going to put it on screen here. Here's the thing, with, with everything that we have uh, right now filled in, like 81 and then uh, uh, 0.11, oh, the two nearest valid values are... Zero and one. Well, I mean, I guess we would go for zero in that case. Okay, so we would get 0.24% from doing this quest. 0.24 from doing this quest. 0.24 from this quest. 24, 24, 1.2. 24, 24, 24. Oof. A whole half percent. In other words, it's not worth doing these quests. Like that's basically what I'm gonna gonna be with this. And the same kind of goes for uh, for for this quest as well. Like if you go here and you do show as percentage, then like. That's barely any experience. 2% from this. So I guess... As much as I hate it... I guess that we need the, uh, need the LOD. I, I suppose... I suppose that... Land of Darkness is the, is the way to go now. Because I don't think that otherwise that we're going to get to 85. Although, wait, maybe... Maybe that if you do the... Maybe that the Valhalla quest could could give you enough. Because I do know that Valhalla does give you quite a bit of experience. Ooh, 
but that is... Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, long. You need to select the right quest, of course. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, this is the one where you have to do three Chicken King, three Mother QB, three Gansing, and three Tarkestras. And then defeat three enemies in, uh, in Glacier Nun. Oh uh, boy. Uh, that does not sound like fun. It does give decent experience, though. I mean, this gives you 6%. This gives you about six, uh, six, uh, five and a half. So the experience is pretty good. Uh, for Hella 2... This is 3.4, 3.4, 10. Talk to Frick, talk to Edamin. The hunting, move, move. Conversation with Ar Arbor, uh, Arbor Gartom. Killing stuff. Oh, wait, this is the one where you have to spam Ibra. Hunt 1 Ibrahim, hunt 3 Ibrahim, hunt 10 Ibrahim. Yeah, you have to do Ibra raid for this one. I'm pretty sure that Ibra raid was the was the part what that was the annoying thing. Ah, and you have to do greedy Fafnir raid for this one. But it does give you really good experience. It gives you about one and a half level in experience. Maybe even more. Uh, you know what the stupid thing is about this one though? I don't think you can drop this one. But it might be that they changed it. Just means that you don't get the... Uh, just means that you don't get the rewards over here. Or this. I guess. But... That's okay. I mean, you still get quite a bit of rewards. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Is that worth it? I don't think so. Can we drop this one? Uh, roast pork and juice. Fafnir's uh, fried dinner. I'm not sure if this is worth it either. Prota Cutter Predator Fox. That's doable. What happened? Um, Yurti. Conversation with Yurtorant. Wait, what? Wow, oh, okay. Uh huh. And then you have the conversation with Jurter and deliver three golden acorn. Deliver three golden acorn, deliver three golden acorn. Wait. Do these people even know how much one golden acorn already takes you? You need nine for this quest. Holy. Oh, and then you get three golden acorns back because reasons. Thought happened them, thought happened them, thought happened them. 
Huh. Interesting. And four? Brutal Centwarf. The experience on this one is actually kind of bad. Whoa, deliver merchant gold to uh, 200k. Ah, uh, deliver 90, 99 heat resistance potion to Backstreet Alchemist. That's also not a fun thing to do. Uh, gold medal, mithril medal, silver medal. That also sounds bad. Yeah, this is from the arena stuff. Oh boy. Um, God Elder, God Elder, God Elder, God Elder. Malcolm Mix, Donna River. Uh, I don't think this is worth it. Uh, hunt one strange your trend. Yeah, no. No, no, thank you. Bye, Valhalla. Uh, what other things do we have? Wait, what level do we need for this? 75. Oh. Well, that's actually not that bad. But isn't that a way... Pretty sure there was a way to get this. Yeah, pretty sure that the Martial Artist Startup Pack gives you one. And now that we're level 81, we can make a Martial Artist on this account. That does mean that we can go and do Draco and Glacerous raids though. Because we can use both of them. And this quest doesn't give you anything. It just requires you to have things, I believe. Placerous Raid Seal. Yeah, uh, from the looks of it, this, this is just asking you to have stuff. So... It doesn't really reward you with anything. Besides, besides for the amulet, of course. Because... Don't. Hmm. To be fair, we could also go and do the Lorena thing so that we can start uh, start doing Lorena quests eventually. Or we could get a Sakura. That might not be all that bad either. But we first have to get a Jajimaru uh, for that because you need to go and get Jajimaru, then you need to go and do the Na uh, Namaju raid, and then when you did the Namaju raid, you can possibly get it out of a box because you need a sealed uh, a sealed princess Sakura bead. So, yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, daily Valhalla. What are the daily Valhalla stuff? What do we get from this? Bobbin, needle, high quality rack. Uh, this is not worth it. Although, <laughs> this is quite a bit of experience. Wait. It's like six and a half, six and a half percent experience. Massive slate, chicken king and greedy Fafnir. Interesting. But not for us. Wait, there's an Act 4? There's an Act 4 daily? Oh no. <laughs> oh no, that sounds... Oh! Ah no, wait, you need 88 for this? God! Ah! Yeah, you can get experience from doing Draco and uh, Glacerus, though. It's like half a percent, but half a percent of bas basically nothing is, is still half a percent. 
yeah, at 5.2, you definitely do need 85 for that. So, that's kind of sad, but, you know. Uh, it is what it is. Um, winter? Actually, maybe doing the snowman raid now is a pretty good option. Yeah. Sure. Huh. Might not be a very bad idea. Okay, this one can go. Let's uh, let's go and see whatever we can do because sitting sitting on our butt is not gonna make us rich. And we want to get rich, of course. I mean, uh, ice flower. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So we can just put them on there for like forty nine. I guess. That's 500k. Dang. How much are ice cubes? Whoa! Ice cube is flipping 15k? What? Uh, wait, if I do remember it correctly, you do need one. Uh, you do need them for the for the quest though. Uh, uh, you need them for the winter quest, I think. Yeah, you need five of them for the winter quest. Okay. So we need to keep six of them. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Sure. Uh, and they were 15, so let's put them up for that. Sure. Sure. That's quite the profitable run that we had there. So that's always nice. Uh, this can go, this can go, this can go, this can go, this can go. This, 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 this. Uh, are we gonna sell the ballista? Like I said before, Ballista is really good for uh, for Swordies. So I think I might keep the Ballista. And give it to one of my Swordy alts. Same as I have some planning to do with this one. Uh, we can sell this because nobody cares. Uh, the rest is kind of whatever. Okay. Okay. I do think if we are gonna go and do the uh, do the event stuff, I do think that I might need to go and grab myself a PG. I think that pajama uh, pajama card is mandatory for the quest uh, for the uh, for the raid now. Oh, there's so many people here. Holy shit. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. That's a lot of shops. Um, is there anything interesting that I can see here? I don't think so. Kettle shoes. New year boxes. No. Okay. In that case, let's go to Mimi. 
Because I'm pretty sure that I have letters. Yeah. I do have letters. Let's throw this all up a row. Because why not? This can go there. Uh, actually, let's do it like this. Sure. That's okay. I don't know. There. Why not? Um, because we have one happy. We have one happy. But we can't open it yet because we can't be on a, on a mount. Okay. Uh, new year. How many times can we trade that in? I think only three times because we need two A's. Yeah, we need two E's. No, I don't want to change my job. Get out. Um, collect letters. New year. Uh, going once. And... Twice. No, we don't have 10 of them. We don't have 10. We only have one of them every single time. And another one. There we go. Okay. Now, let's see. Okay, Concierge had 30 days. That's not that bad. Fireworks and fireworks. Ah, fireworks! Ah. Oh, beautiful. And this is movement scrolls again. God. Goodbye. Um, but concierge hat. Wait, where is the concierge hat? Here's the concierge hat. What does it give? Fire element by five. Oh my. OP, OP, OP. Not at all. This is also giving fire element by five. So I don't know. This is not really it. I guess. But sure. We'll take it. Um... Oh, actually, I need to go, go and grab new arrows. I'm almost out of them. Dang. I didn't even realize I only had eight of them left. Uh, well, that's a thing. Uh, oh. Ah, uh, let's just grab 100. That's not that much. Oh, wait. Shit, I bought the wrong one. Oh, I just wasted almost all of my gold. Jeez. <sighs> okay, very good job. Very good job on wasting your gold on absolutely nothing. Um, okay, so let's see. Because there's multiple things we can do now. Um, we're definitely going to go to IC. Because we do need the gold and uh, full moons and everything from that. And the potions from there would be really, really useful as well. Um... Uh, but how do I get... How do I get 80, 85? Because I think that the only way that I can get 85 now is if I join a family. Finding a family that does LOD, however, is... Uh, that's somewhat of a problem. Like, there's a whole lot of families, but you need to find one that actually knows what they're doing. How do you find one that knows what they're doing? Because, hell, I don't know what I'm doing. 
Anybody expecting me to know what, what I'm doing? Yeah, no. If I were them, I would go and reconsider everything. <laughs> um... I mean... Huh. Yeah, that's a good question. Maybe if I turn the speakers on, because I have speakers uh, turned off right now. Maybe that I will find a new family speakering things in, in speaker. Uh, and while we are waiting for that, we can go and see if we can do the snowman raid. Although, to be fair, I don't, I don't feel like doing the snowman raid. Like, it's not even that I, that I don't think that I can do it. It's more that I don't really care. Like I don't, I don't really understand what's inside of that chest that would make me go and make me excited for it. Like, let's see, where where is it? it has to be somewhere. Where's that? Where's that issue? Oh, here. I was about to say. Wait, what? Like the rate is actually really simple. But what do you get out of it? Like, you get a partner SP, but they are all not really it. I mean, I guess that the Rudolf Pet Trainer would be pretty good. Uh, the, ty the title is not really it. You could get a permanent Christmas costume. That would be pretty good. But besides that, I don't really think that I want a whole lot out of it. So that would be a pajama upgrade scroll. That we can sell or the Rudolph's, uh, Rudolph's pet trainer. Yeah. I think that's about it. So, I don't know. For now, I don't think that I am really interested in it. The same goes for Maru, honestly. Like, Maru has uh, Obsidian of Completion. And those are really, really nice to get. And Maru itself is also really nice to get. And the uh, upgrade scrolls. But the rest of the stuff... I mean, what does this do? Oh, two water element. Heck yeah. I honestly think that I would I would almost be better off going back to FC and farming flowers. Which is kinda sad. <laughs> but this is a little bit of a dead point where you need to get over a certain hump. Like to be fair, this is this is somewhat somewhat of a speed bump. Somewhat of a speed bump for finding stuff that you can do. Like, I really would like to find a family, but at the same time... Finding a family is not gonna solve the problem that we're having. Which is fine, I mean... We do want to go to IC first, so... For starters, there's... There's... IC. But besides that, 
I really do not know what what a good thing to do would be for us. I mean, I do want to give people something... Uh, something that they would be able to do themselves. Like, most people would have found a family by now, I think. As long as that, as long as they interact with people that they see, but I mean, finding people in the early game is a little bit rough. So that would mean that I would make my own family in this case. Ah. Uh... But then I have to then I have to LOD by myself, and LOD by myself sounds like the biggest pain to do whatever. Because honestly, doing LOD, LOD by yourself, I mean, I guess that I would be able to do it eventually. I just don't really see the upside. I do have the dark rest though. <sighs> Complicated. Hmm. 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 Let's see. Kind of curious. Uh, kind of curious what I would do. Hmm. I legit don't know. <laughs> kind of just waiting for... Uh... For I see. Because uh, this I see. And then afterwards there is the... Uh, the sheep or the dodge event. Or the, the, the mini raid. I know I can do those two, and besides that, I would need to go and farm. Like I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that I just need to go and farm for like four levels straight. That's not really something that I look forward to. Although, I could go and just farm uh, Sea View Res. I might be able to, do, uh, to kill the... To kill the things from... Uh, to kill the things from there, but I doubt it in a way... Uh, Kinda sucks that there's just no main quest to be done. Uh, 
I mean, if I just had a main quest to do, then I would be fine. I mean, I'm not doing enough damage, I think. No. Nope. I don't... Oh. I don't do enough damage. I'm better off just sitting in the middle and pray that I'm not gonna die. Actually... I got a message. It really sucks that at uh, at level 81, you just suddenly don't have a main quest for like four levels. Like without help, how am I gonna get those four levels? Like I really do not understand how I'm gonna get those four levels. It's a bit of a pain. Although I have to say I do hope that I'm gonna have enough points. I don't think I will. Oh I did I did get enough points. That's kinda cool. Okay. Well let's try it again I suppose. Uh, this is. I think I need light, re light resistance. Pretty sure it was light that I needed for this round. I think you need l uh, light resistance for the for like two rounds. Don't think this is the damage that I'm looking for, but here's hoping. I mean, you never know. Sometimes you just randomly happen to have been the that uh, blah, 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 words, but sometimes you just randomly happen to deal enough damage. I mean, because of a lucky crit or something, but still. Enough damage is enough damage. Um, but yeah, I think that I would need to go to LOD now. I mean, to be fair, we're kind of done with, uh, with the entire SP stuff. Uh, the S stuff. Because the TS's go uh, until 81, and then when you reach TS 81, after that, the first TS you are you, you got to do is like... Uh, 90, I think? Or somewhere around 90? So, that's a thing. Not enough points. Go figure. Well, in that case, we're just going to sit in the middle and pr pray that it's going to be enough.
What? People don't want defense potions? Okay. Sure. I mean, I might be able to deal enough damage because of that Bulb Keeper. But I think that I need to get a new weapon. But that wild keeper voking everything in that might actually have saved my, uh, saved me for, uh, to deal enough damage. I don't have a voke myself, so that's a thing. So funny, speakers speakers are full with people uh, selling and trading all kind of stuff. Meanwhile, I'm just sitting here like. Does somebody uh, maybe have, uh, I don't know, a family? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Getting a family should, should be a possibility. Then again... I think that we can only do one LOD, so that would mean that we uh, that we get one LOD a day, and if we don't get LOD that day, we need to find something else to do. And finding something else to do is the part where I'm like, oh. Like, I can totally see myself uh, joining the family that my main is in and then leeching it with my main. I can see myself do that, but I, I think that's not really it, huh? That doesn't really help with the, with the entire thing. Also, we didn't do enough damage again, so I'm, I'm giving up. If we didn't do enough damage that round, then I'm done. <laughs> I mean, the best I can do now is basically hope that I don't die. And yeah, that's it. To be fair, maybe if I get somewhere close to, to multiple monsters that I might be able to still pull out a win. Giving up entirely is not really it. But, yeah. I'm not really sure how big the chance is that I'm surviving this. Because... The things in the next round are hitting you for, for way too much. They're hitting like a truck. But you never know. I actually don't know. Am I going to wear fire resistance or light resistance? Or a mix. Maybe I should mix it. Maybe this is the way to go. This might make it so I survive one hit. Like, it's not very likely, but... Eh, maybe. And once the monsters are spawning, I'm gonna I'm gonna step away from the group. Because staying in the middle of the group is gonna make me get hit by the AoE.
And getting hit by the AoE means we are gonna get smacked. That's just, that's just not meant for me. <laughs> ah, okay. I can... Oh, well that's scary. I can throw my ult, and I can do this. Kind of just try to do the long, the long distance game, but I, I shouldn't get too close. And the moment that they start walking towards me, I am out. I really do not want to deal with that. Same goes for that entire wave. I don't think so. Have fun. Good luck. That's that's not for me. Uh, I guess I can go. No. Okay. Fine. I mean, I do want to help, but at the same time, what what am I gonna do? Like, these people are twenty times stronger than I am, so. Better to just let them fix this. There we go. People won I see for me. Cool. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna be uh, back in a second.
Okay. We're back again. Back again. Actually, wait. I forgot to get my drink. Hold on. <laughs> uh, not gonna put it be right back screen up. This is just gonna get my drink and then it's dead. Okay. Um Right. Okay, so we do have 1.2 mil and a tiny bit of a problem because we don't have a main quest and we need gold and stuff. So my plan was to go and uh, get my bird to act five and see what our damage is over there. I might need to buff myself, but that, that kind of just means that uh, somebody should... Um, should make a buffer first, so I don't necessarily see uh, buffing myself with my mage as that much of a big cheat because the only difference that it makes is uh. Yeah, the only difference that it that it makes is that it's a tiny bit of a higher buff. Because my mage is level uh, 97? 8? Something around, some, somewhere around there. And most buffers will be around level 60, I think. Somewhere, somewhere along those lines. So the buff will be a tiny bit less strong whenever somebody else does it, but... Yeah. And then we can go and see if we can farm Sea View. Because Sea View uh, gloves and Sea View boots give you overall resistance and... You can go and uh, just do it the cheap way. By farming it. Or... You can do it the more expensive way and immediately have it, which is go to the bazaar and get it from somebody else. Um, but we don't have the gold for that. So it's way better for us to go and do it the way that I had planned right now. Nope, we're not. We're not going to buy it. Buying it would be the purpose of this entire run. So, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, okay. Let's see. Or we could go to fair, uh, to fair or maple and just farm angel feathers. That's also doable. Uh, actually, wait. Pretty sure it was Nels, Nels camp area, so I don't even have to teleport. I think that I had to go to um, uh, 
Neil's area. Not 100% sure, but I think that was it. Also, the monsters here are level 80. So, that's a thing. Yeah, this is the area. It is here. I kind of just hope that I'm not uh, in over my head because the idea is is correct. I just hope that I'm able to kill them. And that's something that I doubt because they have quite a bit of HP. Oh my lord, we don't deal damage to these things at all. <laughs> I mean, good thing that the enemies are uh, are not having any element whatsoever, so... That's not a problem that we're gonna run into. Yeah. I mean, any interesting speakers whatsoever? I don't think so. No. Uh, no interesting speakers whatsoever. Okay, let's see whatever happens. I mean, we do have the attack potion, defense potion, and HP potion, so that's a thing. Yeah, that's, at least we have something that we can use for it. Uh, let's try these three. Let's see if, if these three are, are doable or not. Because if they're doable, then maybe we can up it a bit, but not by too much, because, you know. Okay. That's surprisingly doable if we are doing it with, uh, with Elemental Leech. Yeah. I mean, we do have to wait, because... This thing does have a, have a one minute cooldown. But what are the cool what is the cooldown on these monsters though? Because uh, let's see, no elements. Uh, no elements. Zombies. Where are they at? I'm sure they have to be somewhere, right? Bone Drakes. Bone Drakes is not what I'm looking for. I swear all the NPCs are in here. Guys, I'm not looking for these things. Just, just give me the, the robbers. How hard can it be? All of these are monsters, really? Jeez. That's a special kind of special. Um, Neil's patrol card. Patrol samurai. Patrol hunter. And bomber. They have a one minute cooldown. So you actually are perfectly fine. Hey, Scandal! Long time. Um, pretty good so far. I mean... It kind of sucks. We just finished Act 4 and after, act, after you finish Act 4, the game is like, Hey, you know what? Um, how about you and, uh, uh, and, and your entire crew just get to level 85 and then we can continue. How about it, huh? 
Meanwhile, main quest be like, but we're not gonna be there. Because why would they? So now I have to find a way to level, which sucks. Uh oh. <laughs> no! It went so well with a little bit. Uh, dang it. Oh yeah, no, I have I've been playing Nostil for I don't know. A long time. I mean I believe that I play Nostale for about twenty years? No, not twenty years. Uh, about 10 years? 10, yeah. About 10 years. Oh, I know why, why it didn't do anything. Uh, I forgot the elemental leech. <laughs> yeah. I think that I think that that channel actually might be the one channel that I don't have any character on whatsoever. I mean the main the main problem that I run into here is you need the level. These things don't give a lot of experience. Not whatsoever. And although it's fine that they don't. Because I'm not really doing this for the experience, to be fair. It, it is kind of sad. Like. Godlike is a really good title. Oh, dang. Plus 14... Plus 14, SP 10, 99 with retro wings. Okay. Wait, how did you do a 220k hit on uh, hit on S uh, uh, on Elzenar? I mean, I do have Discord, yeah. But the Discord is not entirely ready yet. Nah. Let's see. Tam tam tam. A friend request has been sent. <laughs> ah, I see. The scandal likes to show up. I mean, in the meantime, I am going to do this, so I might be a little bit slow to react on Discord, but I'm definitely interested in seeing what you did. I don't know a whole lot about the new SPs yet. I don't have one myself, so still, still doing the quest. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's 20 times better than what we did before. Uh-oh. Pat, please. Work with me. Thank you very much. That was, uh... That was close. Oh uh, boy. Okay. Let's see. 
But what do we have here? Okay, so we have a text tense plus six, fusing gift plus six. Okay, that makes sense. Crit damage. Damage SL. Increase attack. Damage. <laughs> damage to high level. To high level dragons. Yeah, okay. That that does a thing. Uh, sure. And that's the same as the one that you sent before. Yeah. Arm. I mean... That's quite a lot of stuff. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I mean, I have seen certain mages run around with some ridiculous numbers above their heads as well. It's fun. It's fun to see that people are, are getting some really insane stuff happen uh, going for them. Uh, Bushdale? <laughs> you, kind sir, can we please just stay there and thank this shit for me? Thank you. Jeez. I mean, it's not really going that great over here, but could be worse. We're getting letters and cake. Yeah, this is okay. Well, I mean, maxed out, maxed out SPs usually do increase your damage by quite a bit. But how? Like, I get that your gear is pretty good. But how did you reach that specific number? That has to be with full buffs, right? I mean, I imagine it has to be with full buffs. Because the bow only has... Uh, okay, let's see. Bow has 230 crit. Plus 50 from the... Gel, so that's 280. Plus... I am gonna assume that you have 100 points in... Attack. Uh... Yeah, okay, so that's 100 points. That means that you have another... How much did how much did that give again? I think that was another 50%. So that's uh, 300 and, uh, 330. Your crit chance most likely is going to be fine as well. So, 330 crit. Crit doesn't calculate in fairy damage. Fairy damage is a normal damage multiplied by the fairy percentage. Uh, so, that's your normal damage. The points in... Uh, 
the points in element actually translate into fairy percentage. So that's another uh, that's another 84. It doesn't show, but it is there. It is there for damage calculation. Yeah, I can see how your damage was high. I'm not quite sure why it was that high, but I can see why it was high. <laughs> that That's not a mystery to me anymore. Still really insane, though. Do you remember with what move you did it? Because I do know that... Uh, that that specific SP has one move that makes it really, really broken. And yes, it's it's one move in, in specific that could make it really broken. It's heat shot. Because you also ignore a percentage of its uh, of its defense, and that's one of the things that is that it's basically. That's basically keeping it alive, based, uh, so to say. Uh, we got a coin. I don't like collecting coins here right now. I really do want Sea View. But, you know. We got a coin. <laughs> Yay! Let's put the coin there. Um... What did this do again? The bind effect. Oh. Resistance to bind. Okay. I mean... I'm pretty sure that the skill that I'm, that I'm thinking of is called heat shot. Wait. Then again, what... what? That two stitch you use again? Attacks. Attack in case. Yeah, okay, in that case it doesn't work. I don't... I didn't mean to get on my mount. Mounting up means that I don't get enough uh, things behind me. Also, I'm not, I'm not grabbing the other ones. I think that's too much. This is already barely doable. And the only reason why I'm able to do this now is simply because of the uh, event cakes. I think that without the event cakes I would be in a lot of trouble. Maybe I can train my uh, my push still in defense some more. That might help. Oh wait, actually this is this is leveling our SP. Oh, well that's actually not that bad. Kind of nice. Sure. Yeah, you know. Can I use that here? No. Uh, of course you can't use Wing of Returns here. Why would you? Oh boy. But now that we have event cakes anyway, let's go and train our, our pet. I'm gonna go and sit somewhere safe for this though. That spot there is a little bit risky. Like if I would look out there and I look back in, I could look in in the middle of all of those monsters or robbers. They're not really monsters, mo monster monsters, so you know. But that would not really be something that we would like. Uh, 
Um, I don't think there's a portal to uh, to the mini land in in this place, right? Doesn't look like it. Uh, I guess it's cheaper to go here. Is there a mini land portal here? I don't remember there being one. Not gonna lie, this is a little bit inconvenient. Mini land portal when? Mini land portal where? Oh uh, boy. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um. Well. Fine. Then we're just going to use one of these. But before that, I need to find the general market thingy. Where's the general market place again? Was it this person? I don't remember if it was Samira. Pretty sure it's Samira. Desert market. Can I get... No, I can't. Oh, that's amazing. Perfect. Oh, wait. I have to go to the... Uh, to the alchemist. Uh, where is the alchemist? Because this is a fortune teller. That's not what I'm looking for. I could have sworn there was an alchemist here. What is the alchemist here? Yeah, this is the alchemist. Uh, fun times. Right, you can only get Amulet of Return. You need Wing of Return for the desert, which are 30k each. <laughs> That's okay, though. Uh, let's get 10 of... Mm, 10. 20. 20. Let's get 20 of these. I wanted more Wing of Returns, but fine. Let's just let's let's use a bell. Why not? I do have a few of these strong pet trainers. So if we could get my uh, my bush tail to I don't know a bit higher. I mean, to be fair, I don't need it to be a lot higher. Just a bit. How many was the max again? Eh. I'll use five. Why not? This should heal it back quite a bit. Not sure if it heals enough, though. Uh, yeah, so that's not healing enough. Help! My bush, my bush tail is dying. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I'm feeling sick. Yeah, my bush tail, my, um, my bush, bushy is going to feel sick as well, I think. Let's turn the speakers off again. Speakers is not giving me anything useful right now. Oh, Beth couldn't learn anything. I mean, to be fair, it is plus two, so... We're gonna get the can't learn anything message quite a bit now. However... Let's go and see what we have, because I do think that we have a few things that... Uh, uh, that might be useful later on. Mm -mm. Not really. No, not really.
I mean, to be fair, there is a few things I can do now. Like, I can go to FC, hunt for uh, Blaze Gloves, Roop Rav, uh, Haze Boots. Ooh, it's plus three. Okay, I think that we are gonna say we want my bush tail to be plus four. Plus four sounds okay to me for, for what we're gonna do. Because these 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 bush tail trainers can reduce it back to the uh, plus three, so that wouldn't be very ideal. We're not all that rich. Like, we're not poor, but... We're rich is a second. Ooh. In new stuff. Ah, uh, wait. Wait. I thought that I remembered something, but I was wrong. Oh well. Uh, happy. There you go. New Year happy. <laughs> happy. Happy. N not not happy. Happy. I mean, I do have to agree. This is rather boring, but if we can can get plus four, then it's definitely beneficial. Speaking of which, while our bush tail is getting abused by the pet dolls, uh, by the pet trainers, let's go and uh, have a quick look at the gear situation. Because I do think that we are slowly heading towards a gear situation where we can change our gear again. Oh, it's plus four. Wait. You guys can all go and take a break. Bye. It's a, it's a plus four defense push till now. That's cool. I mean, we didn't have it for, for the offensive side, so. That actually went faster than I was expecting. Uh, okay. So, let's see. We have a bow and a left hand and armor. So, we have the robber, uh, desert robber's bow. That's something that we could go and grab. Or almost nothing. And that, that is definitely better than what we have right now. Basically has the same same soft crit, but instead of water element, we get uh we get all. So that increases the damage that every every single SP of us is doing. We would lose three elemental resistance though, so that's kinda sad. Um, we could also go for uh, the Honorable Calv uh, Calvina's Red Wave Bow, but I, do I don't think that's that's worth it. That's going to cost us quite a bit of reputation. And I'd rather use that rep for, for something later on. Uh, so... If we grab ourselves a Desert Robber Bow, then we only need to get level uh, 83 for it. Uh, and then we can upgrade to the Great Leader's Recurve Bow if we have the gold for it. Like, if we're lucky and we find one, then that's great. Because it's definitely better than the Desert Robber. I would 
much rather have this bow when I go to uh, to Act 6. Just means that we're going to have way more solid damage. Where otherwise it would be a little bit of an iffy situation. So it's definitely Desert Robber into Great, Le uh, great Leaders. Um, and once we get the Great Leaders... Our damage should be fine in Act 6. Which means that by the time that we upgrade our bow again, it's at C10. And this is an upgrade that's really big. This upgrade really, really does hit big. The Orc Sniper bow definitely is better than anything else we can get at that point. So we basically can skip this and this entire section over here. We just straight jump from this to this. I mean, honestly, I might even skip the the uh, the 25 weapon. I might go for an Ezreal's wings. If I ever do reach C45, because... To get C45, I, I really think that you would need a family for it. Um, once you're C30, you're able to go to Land of Life. And Land of Life makes getting experience for, um, for champion level billions times easier. As long as you have good enough damage. Because you do need to do 10% or 11% of the monster's... Uh, HP and damage to get full experience and then you get bonus experience for your uh, party members that also did the same amount of damage so if you have a balanced group you'll be fine you're solid <laughs> if there's one person that deals like 50% and the rest deals 3 or 5 yeah no <laughs> not gonna happen uh Anyway, long long way away, so that's that's fine. Uh, we also would like to get this. However, we can already try to get a desert scorpion dagger, and this thing, this thing is really good. This thing is so much better than the scrammer that we have right now. I've been running around with this one on uh, uh, on one of my archer mains for quite a bit. Like, I mean, the fact that it increases hit rate by 80 and all attacks by 30 and then dodge by 30. That's really valuable. Also, if you're playing, uh, if you're playing assassin, 15% chance to crit for 260. It's a pretty high crit, crit ratio compared to this. Uh, you would lose the soft crit though. And losing soft crit is pretty big. Because that's the reason why people go for a great leader's knife. This is... Uh, that that's, that's big. But from there, we immediately can jump to here. Because this is basically the same dagger, just with more damage. So, if you are not planning on using your dagger for any attacks whatsoever, you could, in theory, just keep this this dagger. Because the damage is not higher. Like the only thing that the other dagger adds where that thing, what well, that thing does not have, is this. 1% on the soft crit and higher crit rate oh and it reduces the elemental res uh, resistance by two extra that goes from six to eight so this is definitely better but if you have this this already then you can definitely wait till c25 and just get this one because these effects are pretty much the same they're that's kind of the thing with all of these all of these weapons though. 
the upgrades are so small and so tiny that sometimes you 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 seriously just you you don't see the difference. I mean, look at this dagger. This dagger is almost identical to uh, like this. These stats are almost identical to the C sixty one, the C ten. It has 5% increased crit dam uh, soft crit damage. It has 2 extra energy, 4 extra energy, a tiny bit extra energy. And it reduces elemental resistance by 2 more. That 2 elemental resistance is pretty big, but besides that, it doesn't really change that much. So yeah, if you have C10, C25 is not really necessary. If you have C25... That usually means that you were using a C85. But you can also just go from this, this into this. Like, if you find a dagger that works for you, then, you know, who cares what it does. But that's only if you don't use your dagger. Because if you do use your dagger, you would want to get the highest that you can. Because the main damage... But that does differ by quite a bit. So, yeah. So, if you are planning on using uh, Avenging Angel, Assassin, or Demon Hunter, you might want to focus on your dagger. And then your bow is going to be a little bit less important. As for me, I, am, I, I have no idea what I want to do because Assassin is really cool, but it's not really all that great to, uh, to mob with because a lot of the monsters inside of um, Act 6 and Act 7 are uh, dark or fire. Uh, you're not really doing all that great against either one of those. So that's the thing. But we could, we could try to get a Desert Scorpion Dagger. Uh, and armor-wise... We pretty much have this. Um, this is good. If you compare it with what we're wearing. It's, uh, it's good. But I wouldn't necessarily say that it's better for what it costs. Because it costs you 140k reputation. And just to show you guys, right now we have 149.9k uh, reputation. So I would go back to 9k reputation. I don't have to tell you guys that 9k reputation is not enough to do anything. Because for this, you already need to have more than 9k reputation. So that means that if we would go and grab that, uh, grab that armor, and it wouldn't be a good, um, uh, it wouldn't be a good rarity, we would have thrown away all of the reputation that we have built up so far. And I have to be honest here, trading reputation in is something that is not bad, necessarily. Because reputation is not really used for anything besides that. But people do look at your reputation whenever you are uh, signing up for, uh, for raids. And they check if you are uh, if you have the correct reputation to uh, to join them, or if you have been raiding before, because that's also a thing. Anyway, I'm gonna go and go back to uh, Desert Eagle City. We're gonna talk with BB. And we're quickly going to look in the bazaar how much those daggers are. And then we're going to end the stream. Level 80. 
Majestic Bow, Cape Rue. I mean, cape, capes, uh, honestly, uh, Cape Peru, if you compare it with what I'm using right now, this bow is definitely better than what I'm using. Honestly, it's better. But it's not worth the effort that you have to, that you have to put into getting this weapon. Because to get this, you first need to get a Seraphian. And a Seraphian, yeah, that's, that's a thing. With, Seraphian is also better, by the way. But not all that much. Like, this is an R6. This is an R4. Like, the, the, the difference between this is minimum. The difference between this is pretty big. Between the cape and, and Seraphian, it's pretty big. But between these, no. Majestic Bow is also pretty good. If you can get a good Majestic Bow, that, that could definitely save you. Although most of them are shelled. Which kind of sucks. Because sh shelled is... Shelled is not bad, but... You could do so much better. You would miss the soft crit. So this damage difference suddenly becomes a whole, let, let, a whole lot less... Exp uh, uh, a whole lot less impressive. This thing basically gives you more defensive options than offensive ones. Although it does have all element increase. So that's actually, that, that's actually pretty big. That does make a difference. Anyway, we're, we're, we were not here for uh, for those things. Shadow Chris, also really cool. But doesn't have soft crit, so. And soft crit is, is definitely big. Definitely does make a difference. Uh, let's see, all soul bound. All soul bound. Look at that, all soul bound. Hey, this, this is not soul bound. I mean, it really does make a difference but with, with the scrammer that we are using. I mean, look at that. That's 110 extra damage. About 120 additional hit rate. And then this is hit rate that is going on top of this as well. All attack increased by 30. Dodge is increased by 30. This dagger is way better for hit rate and survivability. But tiny problem. This soft crit is so much better when you're using um, when you're using bow SPs. So you wouldn't throw this one away. I mean, and then there are a, a lot of others that are also soulbound. Because for some people, for some people, the the shells are so important. But then nobody wants to buy it anymore because. This dagger is not meant to be used for uh, for big stuff. Like that's that's not what this dagger is used for most of the times. It's just not what the dagger does. The same goes for the Shadow Chris. It's a 72 R6 plus 8 with a shell. But nobody's going to pay 50 mil for that. Like, not gonna happen. Uh, armor. Do we have... Do we have golden armor? Doofy, breezy. I can... I can see... Golden tunic. Oh. There actually is one. Or two. Oh, this is soulbound. Uh, wait. Soulbound, yeah, sure. But the other one is soulbound as well, so... Uh, bu, 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 bu. damage to PvP. I mean, it's bad. I can already tell you. Just looking at it, it's already better than what we have. This is plus seven. Like, that makes a massive difference. That shell is actually not bad. I like that shell. That 
That was cool. Huh. Interesting. No wonder that they want this much for it. It's a good shell. Um, how about this? Ah, I knew it. This is going to be one of the armors that we want for uh, whenever we reach 85. If we didn't gra grab ourselves the uh, commander already. Because to be fair, this is not all that expensive either for, uh, for how hard it is to get. And I don't expect to get really strong and OP gear. Because we're not going to get that for what we have right now. But I'm sure that I will be able to get some deal somewhere along the line. But just not right now. And if this sells, that's also really cool. That's going to give us a little bit of money as well. Uh, but that will have to wait till later. Because for now, I'm going to go and end the stream. Thank you all for watching. If you liked the stream, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you all later, tomorrow, at around 12 European time. Later.